<laughs> so with the imminent retirement of Sprint superstar Usain Bolt comes this old recycled argument again that Jamaica has not properly cashed in and we never canned the lightning and we missed an opportunity at Halstead and Kofat. We've been hearing this thing now for the last decade. Now the Maverick is not a negativist or a positivist for that matter. I am a realist. And the last time I checked, you say St. Leo Bolt is the only track and field athlete on the Forbes list of richest sports stars. Bolt was on the top 10 list of money-making sports stars for 2016. The big man's stardom has transcended athletics and transcended sports. Bolt do what him need to do for Jamaica by enhancing and maintaining the awareness of little Jamaica. Now, if a private individual want to put up the money by building a boat museum or investing in a guided tour of Sherwood content, then so be it. But this constant bawling that government should not do this and government should not do that to maximize both popularity, I am not convinced. I never hear about any Ministry of Pele or Ministry of Neymar in Brazil or a national Lionel Messi museum funded by the government of Argentina. <laughs> Look, we must face the reality that Usain Bolt's success, just like Bob Marley's success and the money that they make is basically for them and their family. <laughs> we can piggyback on the man them success so much and no more. What the government must do is to control crime and unemployment and fix the hospitals and the schools and the roads. <laughs> so that when Bolt goes out there and advertises Jamaica and people from all over the world come here, they are comfortable and safe and can have a good time. <laughs> we cannot make an industry out of sponging on Usain Bolt. I don't know. <laughs>